Charles. So he's getting Southern on us. He said, yo, y'all. Love it. How, how do I connect my Power BI to Twitter account as a data source to get more insights on tweets? That is a good question. That is a good question. <laughs> I, if only someone knew about using Twitter data here. Yeah, that's that's a tough <laughs> yeah, one there. I don't uh, know. We've, uh, we might have uh, done this a couple of times. Sean, you want to? It, it's it's not it's not a data source directly, but what you want to do is build some sort of a listener, and uh, devil's in the details on that. But you could use something like uh, Power Automate, uh, real simple. Uh, Power Automate, uh, it'll it'll tweak on it'll it'll listen for any kind of search criteria, so a hashtag or an app, whatever it is, um, and whenever that pops on Twitter. Uh, dump that somewhere. So SQL Azure uh, SharePoint list is what Jason said initially, although that could get a little bit busy. Um, yeah. I'm uh, I'm storing that stuff today. Uh, we have a product TyGraph for Twitter that we <clears throat> use for events and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so ultimately, I uh, got a listener that's dumping things in Azure Data Explorer, Kusto. Uh, which is a great place to keep that kind of information. And with that, um, once once you've got it in a in a in a format like that, you can do data imports. You can direct query it. It's wonderful. So yeah, it's really a um, it's really a, a, a way to do it. You gotta if you're using Power Automate, you gotta watch how many of these things you're doing. You might bump into some limits, uh, or how often. Um, what's the throughput? I actually don't use Power Automate. We've built our own listener, but uh, Power Automate's totally valid. Did that for the first couple of years of doing this. So. But that's really, if Twitter itself I, isn't going to be a data source, you need to talk to the Twitter API or use something like Power Automate. And what you're saying is you need to massage the data a little, right? Yeah, I mean, you're getting, you know, it depends on how you want to analyze it. But yeah, at the end of the day, you can you can massage it out. You, you've got good options with, uh, with Azure Data Explorer. Um, as the tweet's coming in, you can do a little ETL on the way. It's lovely that way. Or, I mean, uh, if you're using Power Automate, you can do everything you need to do with, uh, with, just, with just with Power Query. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, if you want to get simple with it and just start simple, you know, just start going out into uh, Power Automate and there's a flow pattern to go and listen for tweets. Yep. You need to store yep. those tweets somewhere. We've tried it numerous different ways. We went into uh, uh, you know, a streaming data set for a while. We, we did it again into a SharePoint list. We were listening for a big SharePoint event at the very beginning and uh, got yelled at for uh, putting too much data into a SharePoint list too quickly. There's something 120,000 rows in like an hour. I got in trouble, but um, don't don't do that. But if you're, uh, if, you know, an Azure SQL database is a really good spot to stick these types of things. Uh, but if you're just trying it out and you want to want to do a quick pattern, a SharePoint list is a perfectly reasonable way yep. to go as long yep. as you limit the number of tweets you're trying to stuff in there, just so you can play with it because it's very easy at that point to connect with Power BI to the SharePoint list and and just check out the pattern um, just to, to get it going. So highly recommend uh, doing it and trying it out. But again, um, John and I have done this numerous times at the previous election period. Uh, John was actually looking we, at, 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 for Trump tweets. So I used for throughput testing. Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> it's a little hairy. that way. Uh, around around uh, you know, uh, debate time is really a great time. I don't recommend doing that into a SharePoint list, uh, but if you, you know, no, that was a good, no. that was a good testing uh, scenario for the Azure SQL side. 